Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Earth Angels. Um, Earth Angels, this is your weekly reading for this week. So, Earth Angels, it don't matter. You could be a male or female. This is for Earth Angels. So, it don't matter, male or female. Um, Earth Angels, keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid. So this reading can manifest this week. It can manifest later on down the line in time. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So Earth Angels, I got two messages for you during the pre-shuffle. It wasn't really a message that came from the cards, but it was like energy. Like without the cards. So something could be going on with like um theater, theater, arts, and music. Um, I picked up opera. I heard I picked up opera, chorus, a choir, and in a band. And also somebody could be in a play or somebody's watching a play. Something's going on with music. Um, a musical, yeah. Um, I heard Ali Ali SS free. I don't know if somebody could be saying Marco Polo, like childhood games, like a ch uh, things like music from your childhood, something like that could be said, um, in this play or this music or something. So, Earth Angels, you guys could be actors. Um, you might star in a play or somebody could be directing a play. I picked up um, theater and music. Um, mainly opera. Like opera and like a choir or, or a band. Like something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then the, the next um, message that I got was... Um, Earth Angels, you should, um, for precaution... You know how people say it's, it's, it's better safe than sorry. I heard Earth Angels, you should um, inspect your your fruit. Like if you go purchase fruit, I heard even if it's packaged. So you might get a bag of apples and it's, you know, it's packaged. Um, I heard still inspect it and um, rinse your fruit off. I mean, rinse your fruit, rinse your fruit. Some people rinse their fruit. Um, some people don't. But Earth Angels, if you usually don't, I heard you should the second half of March. Like when you purchase fruit from the, um, or some, any type of produce. I mainly picked up fruit, but it could be for veg vegetables as well. But I picked up fruit, even if it's packaged. Still, um, re-clean it and rinse it off, like, before you eat it or when you get it home. Yeah. And I believe for fruit. I believe you should rinse it with like lukewarm or cold water. I don't think you're supposed to rinse fruit off with hot water. I think it's cold or like lukewarm water. So something going on, something going on with that. So let me go ahead and jump into the reading. So for your display cards, I'm going to put your oracle from this deck. And I'm going to also put you guys a self-care card as well. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, true offering just flew out. May I release the fears, illusions, and addictions that keep me from true offering. May I relax into your plan, trusting that the next steps will always be shown. Use me, love. Use me for the highest. I am yours alone. I also just picked up two. Um, Star Seeds, if you do like altar, you um, if you practice that, if you put up like fruit and things, like for your ancestors, um, they want you to rinse it, rinse the fruit off. I just heard that your ancestors want you to wants you to rinse the fruit off, like before you place it on your altar or something like that. <coughs> All right. So, oh, I also just heard your ancestors want wanted me to tell you that for yourself, for your for your for your health. When you buy fruit, it's either the fruit is either for them or for you. But rinse it off. Rinse the fruit off. 
All right. Okay. Give me um. Give me a message for Earth Angels. Give me a message for Earth Angels. What's their oracle? We have intention. Yeah, something going on with manifestations, ancestors, things like that. Intention. Intention is simply allowing the will and the mind to align and move in harmony. May I always focus on the highest. My intention is that all God's wishes for you come true. Or let me read it over. My intention is that all God's wishes for me, for you, come true. So earth angels, may, maybe your ancestors or spirit want you to change your intention. And just your, your intention should be that all God's wishes for you come true. Or something like that. Or somebody or your ancestors or spirit want you to change the way you're saying something. It could be a mantra. They want you to change the way you're saying something or something. Something like that going on. Intention. Intention is simply allowing the will and the mind to align and move in harmony. May I always focus on the highest. My intention is that all God's wishes for me come true. What I also just heard too, earth angels, um, I know I have a, I know I have a, a bad habit of doing this as well. It's like earth angels, you know how you think of something in your mind, but you don't act on it. It's like your ancestors spirit wants you to pay attention to your thoughts because you're thinking a certain type of way. It's like, wake up, pay attention. Um, you're thinking a certain type of way for a reason. So it's like earth things you say like for the past couple of weeks or this week, you're going to be saying. It's something could be going on with fruit. It's like you might have a concern about um, produce, fruits and things like that. And you could be saying, I, I want my, I want my, in your mind, you're thinking, I want my fruit to always be fresh. I don't never want to, um, eat poison food or eat dirty food or something like that. But it's like earth angels, when you go to the grocery store and you purchase your fruit, when you get home, you don't rinse it off. It's like, you're thinking one way, but you're not taking action to act upon your thoughts. Like something like that. It's like you think in a certain way for a reason. And the card is saying intention is simply allowing the will in the mind to align. So something pertaining to your mind and then your will, it has to align. It has to be in harmony. May I always focus on the highest. My intention is that all God's wishes for me come true. <laughs> so earth angels, what I'm picking up is you have to participate in something. Like spirit is using you. The manifestation is going to come through you. You have to do this. You have to, everything got to be aligned. You're thinking a certain type of way or your, your thoughts is for a reason. Your mind is something going on with your mind, but you have to actually put it into practice to manifest whatever this is. And it, it don't only have to be pertaining to fruit. I'm just giving that as an example. Because that's the energy, the message that I picked up during the pre-shuffle. Yeah, something like that. It's like somebody thinking something, but it's like this person is not like paying attention. It's like you have to, you're thinking it, now take action on it or something like that. Or somebody's stuck in their head. They thinking about something so much that they're not doing something. And the card wants you to uh, simply allow the will and the mind to align and move in harmony. Like something like that. All right. Or well, like, I know like sometimes too. It could be because I'm a Capricorn, but don't necessarily have to be. But it's just my personality. Like, I could be out and about or even with, like, family and friends. And it's like, I be thinking something in my mind, but I won't say it. For whatever reason, I just won't say it. 
Because I'm not really a talker like too much like that. But it's like I could be out and about or even with dealing with friends and family. And in my mind, I'd be like, wow, I like her hair. Or I like that person's car. That's a nice car. I like those shoes. But it's like I won't say nothing. <laughs> so something like that. It's like somebody thinking something, but they're not taking action on it or something like that. Yeah, so something like that. Intention. Or it could be something as simple as you can love someone, but you never said it. And the spirit is saying, you love this person, say it. Like, your mind, in your mind, you think it all the time. You love this person, but you never said it. Or something like that. Um, Earth Angel, something could be holding back your manifestations. And it could be something is not aligning. Something it's like it's like something you could be something you're not doing. It could be holding back your manifestations. It's something you're not doing. And you might realize it or something like that this week. It's like you know what to do, you just haven't done it yet. <laughs> or something like that. So let me put y'all self care. Give me self-care. What is spirit suggesting for self-care for Earth Angels this week? Invitation. Damn. Calm, love, beauty, kindness, joy, hope, adventure, fun. Yeah. So, invitation. The words you speak are an invitation to life. A request to bring energy into form. Choose your words, choose your words carefully. Yeah. Yeah. So this is for self-care for you guys. Um, Earth angels. Yeah. For self-care, spirit is suggesting that you choose your words carefully. It's like, say what you mean and mean what you say. You're thinking it in your mind, but when you speak it, you might be tempted to water down something. So I'm going to give this for an example. Earth angel, say like you want to tell someone, I love you. But when you say it, you're going to say, I appreciate you. No. In your mind, you was thinking, I love this person. So that's what you should verbally say out your mouth. Say what you was thinking, like something like that. Don't water it down. There's something that you was thinking, say it exactly the way you was thinking it, like something like that. The words you speak are an invitation to life. A request to bring energy into form. Choose your words carefully. And for some of y'all earth angels, I'm picking up the right way to say something or the right thing to say is already in your mind. You was thinking it. Yeah, or something like that. <clears throat> okay. I'm hearing don't water it down. When you get ready to say it, don't water it down. Just say it exactly how your thoughts formed it. Just let it flow out. Let it come out naturally. Okay. All right. What's going on with Earth Angels this week? Ooh. All right. So discontent and boredom, third eye chakra. Earth Angels, I'm kind of picking up. It could be somebody else that's discom discontent and bored. Because of something that they see. Somebody else could be could have saw something with their third eye. It's like Earth Angels, you could be dealing with somebody that's a seer. Or they saw something with their third eye. But it's like when you when you talk to this person... You don't confirm to this person something that they are aware of intuitively. And somebody could be wondering what's wrong with you or something. Because it's like this person knows something, but it's like when they interact with you, you don't confirm their intuition or something. Something like that.
or earth angel earth angels you could be discontent and bored because you're holding back from something that you know because you saw something with your third eye or you're aware of something intuitively because of your third eye it's like you're causing your own self this this discontentment discontentment and boredom because it's like you're already aware of something And it's something that you're doing or something that you're not doing that's causing your own discontentment and boredom or something like that. So something going on with your third chakra or things you with somebody else. And then we got victory and success. For some of y'all, this can be an, ap an apology. Or think you, you uh. You probably know intuitively that the only way to get a victory with someone is to apologize, but you don't want to. Or something like that. Or Earth Angel, somebody holding back an apology, an apology from you. It's like Earth Angel, this person want to say sorry to you, but it's like this person... Fear rejection, or it's like Earth Angels when this person apologized to you, it's like it's like Earth Angels. This person is aware that you're gonna say, Oh, okay, that's okay, all right. Like you're gonna brush something off, but it's like Earth Angels. The truth is, you want to say other things, like Earth Angels. I heard somebody could be trying to get you to open up something like that this is your ancestor spirit or a person somebody could be trying to get you to open up and it's like pulling teeth yeah yeah heartache and loss coming out sideways <laughs> i also just saw earth angels your um you could be watering yourself down because you don't want to hurt somebody else. So it's like your success or your authenticity. If you be who you are in, 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 it, in your full potential, somebody is going to cause heartache and loss for somebody else. So it's like you hold back because you don't want to cause heartache and loss on somebody else or something. Yeah, a disruption. Yeah, that could be. I think that's the tower. Yeah. Or Earth Angels, you don't you don't want to tell somebody else how you really feel, because it might cause this person a tower, or something like that. Or you don't want to come off too strong, but you water yourself down. But it's like you watering yourself down. That's getting played out. It's time for something to like be in this full fullness or it's time for something to be known fully or something like that. Yeah, passion, passion ignited. Yeah, somebody holding back how they truly feel or. Somebody is holding back from going full, full force. So earth angels, for some of y'all to a certain extent, this is not the time to be merciful. For some of y'all, y'all holding back because you don't want to hurt someone else. Or you don't want to make somebody else feel inferior or something like that. Somebody, it's like somebody is aware of what they have to do or what they have, have to say to ignite some type of passion or something. Or Earth Angels, you're aware that if you ignite your passion, this other person is going to be discontent and bored or something. Something like that. Yeah, temptation. Yeah. So somebody could be a Capricorn, got Capricorn in a chart or some type of devil energy.
Somebody could also be intimidated by like some devil energy. It's like somebody hold back because they're intimidated by like by like the competition or something. Or Earth Angels, your competition is intimidated by you. Yeah. So that devil energy could be jealousy, it could be hate, it could be rage, it could be envy. Earth Angel, you, your um passion might get ignited this week. And somebody's gonna be discontent and bored by your manifestations. Or your full potential. I heard somebody's going to be intimidated by your full potential, or you stepping into your your full power or something. <clears throat> Excuse me. Earth angels, you could be very much aware of this. Or well, I'm also hearing this third eye. This third eye right here could be like um. Like your angels and ancestors, like the unseen realm. It's like somebody is keeping an eye on your hater while you um ignite some type of passion. Yeah, this third eye could be like the unseen realm. They're keeping an eye like on your hater or your devil energy or your own devil energy or something like that. Then we have hope. Yeah. I think that's the star number 17. I believe that's the star. So we have Capricorn, Aquarius. Yeah, somebody is hoping that somebody sees something for what it is. Or somebody wants to heal. Or somebody knows exactly what they have to do to heal. Or your angels and ancestor, ancestors know exactly who they have to keep from you in order for, for you to heal. So somebody is being kept away from you. This third eye energy could be your angels or ancestors. They know who to keep away from you so that you can heal. Or so you can reach your full potential or do what you were supposed to do this week. So it's something, Earth Angels, that you're supposed to do this week. It could be uh, like an assignment, uh, like a contract in the ethers. It's like you were supposed to be doing this this week. Whether it's major or minor. And your ancestors and angels and things go, is going to see to it that it gets done. And this other person is going to be like kept away from you. So that you can do what you were supposed to do. It could be a contract or something in the ethers or something. Or on a 5D or something like that. It's like this third eye energy is keeping you away from like this person that could be jealous of you or something. Or intimidated by you or something like that. Stand your ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So something is definitely going on with uh, the third eye chakra. A lot. It's a lot of purple. Yeah. So earth angels. Um, you could be dealing with someone who's who's heartbroken or. This person's um, heart chakra could be um, blocked or not balanced. So it's like earth angels, you're being kept away from somebody whose heart chakra is in, out of balance, out of whack, or is just blocked. So you can get like a download or do what you're supposed to do. You're being kept away from somebody whose heart is not right or something like that. That's basically what this is. Or Earth Angels, if it was your heart that wasn't right, it's like you're going to get put back in your proper place so that you can properly manifest something. Or somebody whose heart is not right is being kept away from you. So Earth Angels, this could have been your... For some of y'all, this could be a lover, an ex, or um, a co-worker. It's like Earth Angels, you work with someone, but you um do this job or do this work from a sincere heart or from the right place, the right motives, and this other person don't. So they're being kept away from you. So an 
insincere person is being kept from kept away from a sincere person like something like that yeah because capricorn and aquarius um that's the world so something's being wrapped up somebody's up there somebody might receive an upgrade the world some type of success it could be the world wide web Something could be going on with online, social media, traveling, the world energy. Aquarius and Capricorn here together. That's the world. And it's like Earth ain't you stand your ground about your passion being ignited. Don't worry about this person. Don't be intimidated by this person. I see this person can't interrupt your passion being ignited. This person can't really do too much. To like get you to stop or whatever you're doing that this person don't like. They can't really do nothing about it. Or it's like I heard they gonna say a little something. This person might say a little something. But it's like earth angels keep doing what you're doing. Or keep feeling the way you're feeling. And stand your ground. So earth angels somebody might say oh you overreacting. It's not that serious. You overreacting um. Why are you so happy and it's not that serious or something somebody might say to you. And it's like, Earth, you're just going to have to ignore this person and continue to feel the way that you feel. So if you're overjoyed, stay overjoyed. Don't like lower your happiness because this person said something to you or something like that. It's, it's, it's like Spirit told me to give the example of music. So it's like Earth things, you say like you're celebrating, you're happy, and you have the volume, like your music, the volume could be on 30. Like your volume is on 30. And somebody going to say, turn that down. It ain't that serious. You don't got to be playing that music that loud. It's like Earth things, you don't turn your volume down to like 25 or 15 because this person don't like your volume up to to 30. Don't turn your, don't turn your volume down. Like something like that. I'm giving um, the volume of music as an example. Like somebody might tell you to tone it down or turn that down. Or that's too loud or something like that. Earth angels, I also see somebody that could have offended you this week on the past. They could be getting karma. And you're going to be pleased. You're going to be pleased that um you're getting karmic justice or something like that. Because what I just noticed in this card is like earth angels, this girl holding, this woman holding a green cup. And it's like collective, you saying to somebody, why are you in that discontent and boredom energy? Why? Why? It's like Earth ain't you. Somebody being discontent and bored. It's like karmic justice for you, and it, it's like going to ignite your passion. So somebody could be getting karma for offending you or something. Or Earth ain't you. You hold somebody's heart in your hand, and be careful how you handle this person. So for some of y'all, I also heard too. You hold someone's heart in your hand. And be careful. If you love this person, Earth Angels, tell this person you love them. Don't say, oh, I appreciate you. No, that's not what your mind is saying. You really want to tell this person you love them. So just say that. Yeah, something like that. Because you hold their heart in, in your hand or something like that. All right. Well, it's like earth angels, you might say to somebody verbally or energetically. It's like you saying, if you so sincere, why are you in discontent and boredom energy? If you so sincere, if you're really my friend, why are you discontent and bored with my happiness or something like that? Yeah, it's like somebody getting caught like, mm-mm-mm. 
If you say you this, then why is it? Why you green with envy? Or why you something? Somebody might get caught or something like that. What's going on with this consent and boredom? Or earth angels, you're getting karmic justice. Or you're going to get karmic justice for somebody else. Yeah, something like that. Or earth angels, your heart is your own heart is in your hands. And you're not gonna allow someone to tell you who you are. So an earth angel say like you are genuine. You're truly an earth angel. You're not gonna allow someone to say, Oh, you a fraud, you not no earth angels. You're not an earth angel. Earth angel, you like I know what's in my heart. My ancestors know my heart. The most high know my heart. So I'm not gonna allow your opinion your perception to lower my vibration like something like that going on you're standing your ground the seven of wands this is i think the seven of wands yeah so you're also earth thinks you're going to get one up over the, like your competition or you're going to prove a point or something this week to someone you're either proving a point to a hater or you're proving a point to yourself or you're going to prove to someone that you love them or something like that. But we have peace. So Earth Angel, someone is discontent and bored that you're at peace with yourself. Or this person um, can't lower your vibration. So they're going to be discontent and bored. Or Earth Angel, someone wants like confirmation from you. This person is, dis is discontent and bored because you are their peace or something. And you're not saying something that this person wants you to say. This could either be your angels or something. Or your ancestors or something. This could be like an ancestor. Or something. For some of y'all. Well, it's like earth angels, your ancestor. You could be doing something wrong. And earth angels, earth angels your ancestors want you to correct something so that they can properly help you manifest this or you're saying the wrong words or something something like that going on or you could be complicating something and your ancestor is like discontent and bored that you're not picking up on something that they want you to pick up on or something what's going on with this third eye chakra Yeah, honesty. Yeah. Somebody know what the deal is. Somebody know what the deal is. Somebody could be in denial a little bit. So, somebody is very aware of what the truth is. So, Earth Angels, is you or somebody else or your ancestors. So, Earth Angels, you could have been in denial about whether or not somebody was like your friend or that you're a hater. You probably unaware that you got a, like a friend of me, a secret enemy. But your ancestors is very aware because the third eye. Yeah. So Earth Angels, I'm hearing if this week you're not at the place in your life where you're aware that somebody is like your enemy or a friend of me, your ancestors is aware of it. And they're going to see to it that you're separated from this person this week so that you can do what you got to do. Yeah. What's going on with Passion Ignited? I also heard, um, Earth Angels, you could have been trying to get karmic justice for the wrong person. And your ancestors might redirect you. You could have been dating the wrong person. You chose the wrong person. Or you was trying to get the wrong person karmic justice. Or you was believing the wrong person. Or something like that. You was taken up for the wrong person. And your ancestors might redirect you to the right person you're supposed to be helping. Or something like that. Yeah, envy. Yeah, earth angels. It's going to be confirmed to you that somebody envies you. And I think your angels and ancestors want you to get to the point where you don't care. Or they want you to be aware. Or it's like, um, earth angels, your ancestors are saying, we don't care. We don't care. Or something. 
they don't care that this person envies you or something. Or you're going to be aware that somebody envies you. Or Earth Angel, you, you saying to somebody, why are you so mad? Earth Angel, you, you're saying to someone, why are you so mad? Yeah, something. Or Earth Angels, you're being healed from envy or you're being released from envying someone or something like that. What's going on with temptation? Ooh. Fear. Yeah. So Earth Angels, it was something that you you might have to put be you might have to face your fear this week. You might have to deal with something, face your fear, or don't fear someone. Don't fear someone. Or don't feel bad about um being who you are. Don't let don't feel bad about this. Or something. Real life, um, I also just heard Earth Angels, somebody's trying to make you feel bad about something. That you shouldn't feel bad about. You're not doing nothing wrong or something like that. It's like somebody upset at you because you realize that you're testing your resolve to live in the energy of love. I also heard Earth Angels, you're breaking away from a hater. So Earth Angels, say like it was your lover or a family member or a friend. Both of y'all was hating on somebody together. And Earth Angels, you don't want to do this no more. Because somebody could have been doing something unnecessary. Or Earth Angels, it's like you're going to break away from this person. And stop being a hater or something like that. So basically, Earth Angels, you're going to do the right thing. If somebody was being hateful or you was helping somebody gang stalk somebody, it's like Earth Angels, it's like... Your conscience is telling you that's wrong or you're going to stop doing something or something like that. Because you want to live in the energy of love or something like that. And this other person like want to stay in that devil energy or something like that. What's going on with hope? Yeah, change. A change is definitely coming this week, Earth Angel. Something's going to change this week. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Mm -hmm. So, Earth Angels, you might reap some type of harvest because you made some type of change in the past. So, you're going to receive some type of growth or something. Because I'm hearing for some of y'all, y'all made some type of change or you moved something around or did something in the past. And because of that, the second half of this week, you're due a harvest because you changed in the past. So you're due a harvest. You're due a congratulations. You're due karmic justice. You're due an upgrade. You're due some type of revelation. That's due to you because you made the right, the right choice in the past or something like that. And this can even be like some type of revelation or download. That you're going to get that this other person is not going to get because they didn't do the shadow work. Because the world, the, the world is here. So that's an upgrade. Yeah. Going to the next level or the next phase and something. What's going on with this with staying your ground? What's going on with staying your ground? What's going on with your ground? Oh, Earth Angels, I'm also hearing if something is going on, it's like Earth Angels, you're going to invite some, you're going to invite people, but this other person, you're not going to invite them. Something going on with like invitations. Well, it's like Earth Angels, you could be giving a shout out to someone, but you're going to, this. you're not going to include someone. And it was the right thing for you to do. So it's like you're either sending out invitations or you're giving a shout out to someone. And whoever don't deserve it, they're not going to get it. Because it's like you all about calm, love, kindness, beauty, joy. And if this person in devil energy is like you're not going to let this person come to your party, 
you're not going to give this person a shout out because they don't deserve it. They're in devil energy. Like, and you're all about positivity, adventure, joy, beauty, hope, kindness, calm. Yeah, something like that. What's going on with staying your ground? <clears throat> I'm also hearing another group of you guys, Earth Angels, is somebody that you should acknowledge and you should give a shout out to. And it's like Earth Angels, if you don't, you're going to be stuck in a karmic cycle until you give honor to whom is due. Or until you give this person recognition that they deserve. Because it's like Earth Angels, this person know, but you won't acknowledge them or something. Or something like that. Yeah, for some of y'all, um, if you don't give this person the recognition that they deserve, you might get a little bit of karma for that. Or you're going to regret something. Yeah, for, yeah, it could be two groups of you guys. Or Earth Angels, it could just be one group of you guys. And you guys are, your ancestors might help you with this. You're going to be able to distinguish who you should give honor to and who to not give honor to. So you might change something or reverse something. Yeah. It's like you're going to be able to see something correctly. Okay. So you could have been doing something backwards in the past or something like that. And you got it right or you're going to get it right this week. And you're going to do the right thing. So it's like you're going to invite the right people. You're going to give a shout out to the right people or something like that. Because you, your third eye, something going on with your third eye. Yeah, perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Yeah. Yeah, so Earth Angel, somebody telling you that you can't do something or you're not the right person to do something or you don't have the right to do this or something like that. It's like Earth Angel, yes, you do. Because it's like you got your approval from like your ancestors, the universe, things like that. So I'm also hearing Earth Angel, somebody around you feel as though they're like, they, how, how am I say this? What this person doing? It's like Earth Angels, the universe or your ancestors have approved you of something. And you have a human over here saying, if I didn't tell Earth Angels yes, then it's a no. It's what I say. It's like a human over here with their opinion. Not And this person not realizing that it's not about them or... They don't have the authority that they think they have or they're really just being a hater and they're like lying to you. So somebody could be doing that to you too. It's like somebody saying, you can't do that unless I tell you you can do it or something. And Earth that you, you saying, no, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Or Earth that you, you're going to change your intention. You're going to change something. And this person telling you, you shouldn't have did that. And it's like, you should have done that. Yeah. So you changed something in the past. And it was a right decision, Earth Angels. And you could be getting a, a harvest for doing something in the past. And in the past, this person was talking down on you. And this person is going to get proven wrong. That in the past you did make the right decision. Or something like that. It's like this person going to feel foolish or embarrassed. Because somebody could have made a fool of themselves or something. Yeah, so Earth Angel, something is paying off or something is... um. <coughs> Something is um, working out in your favor this week. And Earth Angels, you might also be saying, like, I told you. Something like that. So, something. 
Or your ancestors saying that or something. Or Earth Angels. I don't know if it was a human that thought that thought that they were more powerful than the than the five D or something, something like that. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Or Earth Angels, you was talking to someone in, in your mind. Earth Angels, you could have been telling somebody what you was thinking. And this person was telling you, Earth Angels, say like you was talking to somebody. And you loved it. Some you love someone. And you was telling this person, I'ma tell so and so that I love them this week. And this person was saying, No, don't tell so and so you love them. Don't say something else. And it's like Earth Angels, if you're going to do whatever you set your mind to. Whatever your mind tell you to do and whatever your mind tell you how to do something, that's how you're going to do it. And this person could be telling you, no, don't do it like that. So it's like spirit wants you to align something. And this person is telling you to like get out of alignment. Like don't say exactly what's on your mind or it's like this person could be telling you how to quote your mantras or speak your mantras or something. It's like the advice that this person is giving you is throwing you off. Or something like that going on. Yeah. Intention is simply, simply allowing the will and the mind to align. And move in harmony. May I always focus on the highest. Yeah. Yeah. So, Earth Angels, you could have been trying to make peace with someone and somebody was saying, no, let's continue to fight in war. But it say, may I always focus on the highest, the highest vibration. So, somebody could have been wanting, to, wanting you to stay low vibrational and your ancestors was telling you, no, it's time to go higher. It's time to forgive someone. It's time to tell this person how you really feel. Like the highest, yeah. My intention is that all God's wishes for you, for me come true. Or Earth Angel, somebody was trying to tell you that you didn't love yourself or something. And Earth Angel, you telling this person, my intentions is that all God's wishes for me come true. I ain't crazy now. Something, somebody was trying to tell you you didn't love yourself or something. It's like this person don't know what's in your mind. And somebody could have been trying to tell you you was crazy or... You didn't love yourself or something. Or something. <laughs> What's going on with discontent and boredom with peace? Give me a TV for that. Earth Angels, I also see too what could have been going on. Is somebody around you wasn't no good. They could have been your hater. They could have been a friend of me to you. And this person thought you was stupid because you didn't realize that they were your hater or your secret enemy. So this person automatically assumed that you don't know how to manifest or you don't something. It's like this person thought less of you because you, you wasn't picking up that this person was like your enemy or something. And it's like you telling this person, my intention is that all God's wishes for me come true. Whether I was, whether my third eye blocked or not, in my heart, I know that my intentions is that all God's wishes for me come true. So something like that, somebody could be trying to deem you crazy or if you couldn't tell I was your enemy, then that means something somebody was doing. And no, that don't work like that. It's like Earth Angels, you could have made a mistake or something and this person was like just... Trying to hold your whole entire personality like on one mistake you made or something. Something. Give me a tea leaf. This person going to be discontent and bored. Or somebody felt as though you didn't deserve something because of something you did in the past. It's like this person didn't forgive you, but the universe did. The most I forgave you, this person didn't forgive you. And you're still going to get some type of blessing whether this person like it or not. Because you did your shadow work. 
It's like this person is so hell bent and focused on you. Not getting what you deserve that there. It's like this person didn't do their own shadow work. And you was doing shadow work while this person was so focused on you or something like that. Give me the tea with discontent, boredom, and peace. Yeah, hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Yeah. yeah. So, Earth Angel, somebody that was looking down on you or something like that, this person might need your help, assistance, and guidance this week. Or, Earth Angel, somebody don't like the fact that you no longer need their help, their assistance, or their guidance. But this person was like no good to you. Or earth angels, it's your ancestors that's waiting for you to like ask them for their help, their assistance or guidance. But it's like, it's, it's something that you're saying or not saying that's not something. If it's something, if this, if this, this contentness is your ancestors, it's like they want to help you, but it's something that you're not doing. And it's like defeating the purpose or something like that. But I think you're going to realize something. What's going on with the uh, third eye chakra and honesty? Give me a tea leaf for that. Well, it's like earth angels, your ancestors or something. They help you all the time and you never say thank you or something like that. So it's like <laughs> something, something like that. Kangaroo, unsettled time, need to plan ahead. So, Earth Angels, you might realize that somebody lied to you this week. It's like somebody could be going through un unsettled times and they need to plan ahead. And they're not telling you what really happened. But I think this person could be getting karma or something like that. This person getting karma for what they did to you or what they did to somebody else. Or Earth Angels in the past, you told somebody that a that a tower was coming and they didn't believe you. It's like Earth Angels, you got out of this tower before the tower crumbled and this person going to be in this tower when it crumbled. And Earth Angels, you saying to this person, I told you or something like that. And this person going to feel foolish because they didn't believe you or they doubted your intuition or something. Yeah. This person could be pregnant. They don't have to be. Or it's like they have a baby or something. Or something. Or Earth Angels, maybe this week you're um finally recovering from a tower. Because this could have happened to you in the past. And you might realize who caused you a tower. And keep this person out your enemy. Keep keep this person out your energy this week. So it's like Earth Angels, you finally recover from a tower when you had to when you had unsettled times. And you probably have to be honest with yourself. And you're going to stay away from this person because they was the reason why you had a tower moment in the past or something. Or it's like Earth Angels, if you're not ready to accept some type of truth about a, a hater in your life, your ancestors going to separate you from this person. Yeah. What's going on with passion ignited and envy? Or the universe going, some type of event or something is going to like cause like a natural separation or something like that. Like, this person might not be able to make it to your function. <clears throat> it's like, Earth, thank you. Say, like, in the past, you had a function and somebody stole, your like, your donations or your fundraising money. And you never knew who did it. It's like, Earth, thank you. The person that stole from you at your last fundraiser, you, like, invited them to your fundraiser that you're having this week. But they might not be able to make it because they was the ones who stole the money the last time or something like that. 
Or Earth Angels is like, even if you're not aware that this person was the one that stole from you, it's like you and this person might get into an argument this week and you might take them off the invitation list. And it's like you're you're still not aware that this person was the one that offended you in the past. But it's like something gonna happen. And it's like you like, you know what? You ain't coming. Like something like that. Yeah, it's like Earth Angel, some money or something could have got stolen. You could have lost clientele. Yo, um, business reputation could have got ruined. Because of this person, either you're aware that this person did it, you're going to find out this week that they did it, or it's like Earth Angels, if you're not willing to accept that it was them that did it, your ancestors, something going to work out, and it's like, this person not going to be able to come to your function or something like that, something like that. Give me a tea leaf for passion, ignited, and envy. Or somebody think you too nice or kind. I just heard that too. Somebody mis mistreated you because they feel as though you, you're too nice or you're too kind or something. Or they took your kindness. They thought you was being fake because you was being nice or something. Or somebody wanted you to be hateful like them. Give me a tea leaf for passion ignited and envy. Oh, man, these cards. Wow, yeah, misunderstanding. <laughs> yeah, Earth Angels, a misunderstanding might work out in your favor this week. Or Earth Angels, this, somebody saying, oh, no, that, that was a misunderstanding. And Earth Angels, you like, uh-uh, uh-uh, that ain't no misunderstanding. <laughs> yeah. So either a misunderstanding is going to work out in your favor this week. Or Earth Angel, you gonna catch somebody in a lie or something. And you're gonna be like, mm-hmm. I thought you was I thought you was my friend. Or something. Yeah. Give me a tea leaf for temptation and fear. Or Earth Angel, you gonna say, I thought you told me you knew what you was doing. Or something. This person, somebody you gonna catch somebody in a lie or something. Then we got sharp, yeah. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Yeah. Yeah, Earth Angels, you got a thief around you. And this person, like, wait for opportunities to, like, steal from you. Yeah. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Mm-hmm. Or Earth Angels, I also see... If this person offend you again, they're going to experience a material wealth. That's going to be their karma. If they like offend you again or something. So this person need to take care or they will, there will be a loss of material wealth on their part. It's like this person needs need to just leave you alone. Or something like that or start or stop being fake towards you. Give me a tea leaf for hope and change. We in March. Yep, we in the month of March. So, Earth Angels, you made a change that you were supposed to make in the past, and you're reaping a harvest in March. And you're supposed to. I'm going to tell you what's going on. It's like, this is like somebody going to jail and getting out of jail when they were supposed to get out of jail. And somebody saying, oh, you got out of jail too quick, so that means you snitched. It's like something, some, something like that could be going on. So if this is like, if this something to do with Earth Angels, if you a man or something, you could have a friend or something. This man going around starting rumors on you. He's saying you a snitch or something. Because it's like he, you got out of jail when you was, you could have got out of jail for good behavior. And he's saying you snitched or something. Yeah, this man better be careful what he's saying or something. 
And it's like the whole time he the snitch or something like that. So somebody could also be getting out of jail for like good behavior. Or if somebody did tell a truth in a legal case, they were supposed to. And it's like, collective, if you told the truth in a legal situation, you were supposed to. And your angels and ancestors, the universe is protecting you. And it's just as simple as that. And this per and if this person keep coming for you, they're gonna lose, they're gonna lose um some material wealth. Or something. Collect Earth Angels if you a man. If this is in business, somebody's clients might leave your hater and come to you. And this happened naturally. This is not like you stealing this person's clients. This happened naturally. So that somebody that wasn't no good to you in business, it's like they're going to lose your client. Their clients is going to come to you. Or something like that. Somebody feel like something happened too quick for you. So it's not authentic because it happened too quick. Or something. Um, somebody got an issue with the month of March. Somebody just got an issue with the month of March. Or this person feel as though you getting your miracle too, your miracle too quick or something. So Earth Angels, you're reaping the harvest from a past decision that you made. This change or Earth Angels, you're going to make this change like March is the right time to do it. This month is the right time to do it. This week is the right time to do it. And maybe somebody was telling you to wait a little bit longer or something. <coughs> or something. Give me a TV for staying your ground perseverance. Yo, feeling tied down or frustrated. Yeah. So I heard this person's problem is their problem. Is their problem. Yeah. Earth angel, stand your ground. Because this person feeling tied down or frustrated. That's their problem. Earth angels, I'm also picking up. You made a change this week on the past. Because you was tired of feeling tied down and frustrated. And you know that if you do something the way this person wants you to do it, you're going to feel tied down and frustrated again. So you t you telling this person, no, I'm not doing it your way. I'm doing it my way. And that's my final answer. And if you don't like it, then you could just stay away from me. Yeah, I heard Earth Angels, you're convinced that your way is the right way. Because you don't want to do it this person way again, no more. Because when you do it their way, you feel you get tied down and frustrated. It's like I heard you know from experience not to like listen to this person or you're not going to do something this person's way no more. You're going to do it your way. And you know that through experience. Or something. Just um close that door because I'm recording. I'm almost done. But still close that door. Give me um what's the tea with boredom, discontent, peace, and hand. Ooh. Obsessive lover. Yeah. Dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessiveness, karmic. So, Earth, Earth Angels, for some of y'all, this, this hater of yours, it could be your lover. Your lover is a karmic. Or it's your lover's karmic. Or your lover's third party. Somebody's an obsessive lover. And they're a karmic. Your hater is a karmic. Whether it's your current lover, ex-lover, your lover's lover, or something like that. This person is a karmic. Or Earth Angels, you're not going to invite someone somewhere because you know that their lover is a karmic. You're like, no, nah, you, you're not coming to my party because you still date so-and-so. And so-and-so is nothing but trouble. Y'all not coming to my party. Or something like that.
or it's like earth angels, you dealing with somebody and it's like this person be letting a karmic lover take all their money. And then when this when this person's karmic lover take all their money, this person feel as though you should like reimburse them or give them back the money. And it's like earth angels, you telling this person, stop letting so and so take your money. Cause I don't I'm not obligated to give you money. You need to tell this karmic no when they come ask you for money or something like that. Or earth angels in the past, you was trying to tell somebody that their lover is a karmic and they didn't want to listen to you. And this man, this man might leave this woman or something. It's like he going up and leave her. Or he going to kick her out or something like that. Or this woman going to tell this man she pregnant and this man going to break up with her or something like that going on. Somebody was saying, oh, you a fraud, you a scam, you jealous of me. And Earth Angels, you was just trying to help this person. You told them that their lover is a karmic or something. Or something. Or Earth Angels, this person, whoever this person is, was dating your ex. And it's like Earth Angels, somebody was like trying to clown you because they was dating your ex. And Earth Angels, you like. You can't clown, you can't clown me about my, my about my ex because he's a karmic. It's like Earth Angels when you was with your ex, your ex had you feeling tied down and frustrated. And it's like this person could be your your ex's new lover. And that maybe she was trying to make you jealous or he was trying to make you jealous. And you was like that's nothing to be jealous about. And it's like this week, Earth Angels, it's like this person that was trying to make you jealous because they was dating your ex. This person going to feel tied down, frustrated. And Collective, you going to say to this person, don't come over here. Don't come over here asking me for help or something like that. Or Earth Angels, you told somebody the same way so-and-so treated me, they're going to treat you too. And this person was like, no, they not. <laughs> or something. What's the tea with third eye chakra, honesty, and kangaroo? Earth Angels, if somebody was doing something behind your back, somebody could have been dating your lover or dating your ex. Somebody going to go to jail for doing something behind your back. <laughs> and Earth Angels, it's like you either don't know that this person in jail or you don't know why they're going to jail <laughs> or something like that. Wolf and sheep's clothing block. Yeah. Yeah. So Earth Angels, you blocked this person in the past or you going to block this person this week. That's the C. Or Earth Angels, somebody mad at you because you blocked them. It's like Earth Angels, when this person had access to you, they used to steal from you. Now it's like this person want an opportunity to steal from you, but they can't because you blocked them. Or somebody was crying wolf. And now that this person really in trouble, it's like they can't get in touch with you or something now that they're really in trouble or something like that. Somebody could have been crying wolf or something in the past. What's the tea with passion, ignited, wall, and envy? Yeah, too busy winning. So, Earth Angels, you're going to be proven right. You're going to get your point across to yourself or this person. You're going to win something. You're too busy winning. So, Earth Angels, for some of y'all, you're busy doing you, and you don't even know that, what's going on with this person. And it's like they want to reach out to you, or they're going to try to reach out to you, but it's like they can't because you blocked them, or like your ancestors or something blocked this person. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. So Earth Angels, I'm picking up. If some if you didn't block this person and your ancestors blocked them, if your ancestors had to block your hater, this is gonna show this is gonna manifest as a technical issue. Or something like that. Yeah. It might manifest like like technicalities. Something if your ancestors did this. Yeah. Or this person might uh, get locked out of Facebook or this person will go to Facebook jail or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or it's like Earth Angel, somebody want to talk shit to you, but they text message or something might not go through. Or it's like um, Earth Angels, it's like when this person texts your phone, you could have changed your number and it might bounce back to this person's phone. And when they see that, like their, their text didn't go through, this person going to be discontent and bored. Somebody probably wanted to send you a nasty email, cuss you out or say something nasty to you. But it's like their text message is not even going to go through or something. Or you changed your number or something. What's the tea with temptation, shark, and fear? Yeah, talking shit. Yeah. So, Earth Angel, somebody was planning on talking shit to you. Or talking shit about you. And it's going to get blocked. Somebody wanted to cuss you out. It could have been through text, email. But I, I just heard return to sender. Earth Angels, if somebody was trying to scam you through like um, a faulty email or something, it's like Earth Angels, something might happen to this person and they're going to have to close down their like scam. So it's like this person not going to be able to email you through their fake account or through their scam account or something. Because they could be like under investigation or something. Yeah, somebody wanted to do something or send you like a... Somebody wanted to send you like a link or something, a fraudulent link or something like that, but it's going to get blocked. What's the T with hope change in the month of March? Or collective, you blocked this person like on social media. You could have muted this person. They're not able to talk, text, comment, nothing. Yeah, cyberbully. Yeah. You are being bullied online or they are has suffered from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Earth Angels, you're going to upgrade something. And this person not going to be able to cyber bully you no more. Because you're going to upgrade or something. Or you're going to change something like on your account. Or you just might get a totally new account and this person not going to be able to have access to you or something. Because this person was bullying you online. Or this person getting karma. This Somebody could be getting karma as well. They could be getting bull bullied online and that could be part of their karma. For what they did to you in the past or something. What's the T with stand your ground, yoke, and perseverance? <clears throat> or Earth Angel, somebody wanted you to wanted you to share accounts with them. Or somebody wanted your password to your account. And it's like Earth, it's like Earth Angels, you're gonna change your password. So you were sharing accounts with someone or this person, or you shared your password or something. Or something. Give me the tea with staying your ground, nope, and perseverance. All these cards going on the floor. Earth Angels, this person didn't want you to reject them, but you are. Yeah, somebody can have bad habits, drug addictions, toxicities. 
or this person was starting rumors um that you had bad habits or this person has bad habits or um earth angels somebody around you might lose by association so this could be like your bestie your family member and you're telling them no um you can't come to my party you you can't come because your lover has bad habits so earth angels somebody might lose lose you by association whoever they associated to yeah Yeah, something like that going on. Yeah, so let me put some tarot on this real quick. And I'm going to end it. What's going on with this energy for Earth Angels? What the, what do the tarot got to say? What's going on? Yeah, the higher fog. Earth Angels, you could be married or this other person married. And Earth Angels, you saying married or not. It's up to you. I know you married. I know that's your husband, that's your wife, but um, this is my function. And just because you're married, that don't mean I have to invite both of y'all. It's up to you. But your husband or your wife ain't coming to my function. So somebody could have felt as though they had a right because they're married or something. Or Earth Angels, you married or you tied up with a karmic. You could have married a karmic. And y'all could have been sharing a bank account or something. And Earth Angels, you, you like, uh-uh. You might close out this account and get your own account. Or your karmic lover, you gave your karmic lover your passwords to like your Facebook account, your Google account. or And it's like Earth Angels, you changing your password. And your, your karmic spouse is not getting your password. Because you can't trust them. And they probably be stealing from you. And cheating on you too. Or something like that. Somebody that's married could have been being a player. Or somebody thought that they can flim flame you, flim flam you, and you the higher font. Mm -mm. Yeah, the five defense rules. Yeah. Somebody thought that they would get away with leaving you out in the cold. So, Earth Angels, your ex could be getting karma or something. Or a player getting karma. It's like somebody was in a third party situation or somebody inserted themselves as a third party. And then this person was like, oh, I ain't getting karma because I'm married now. It's like somebody was doing somebody dirty and then jumped and got married. And this person thought that they wouldn't get karma because they got married. And something, somebody getting karma. Um... Or Earth Angels, your ex could have left you and got married. And they're getting karma. Because it ain't what you do, it's how you do it. Somebody thought that marriage would protect them from karma. No, karma don't stop because you married. <laughs> or something. Somebody thought they was going to, let me hurry up and get married. Or somebody like robbed somebody and then got married or something. And, oh, I changed. I'm married now. Uh-uh. Downward like that. It's like the Knight of Wands up and like left somebody in like a bad predicament. And it's like tried to get married or say something. Something somebody did. Or Earth Angels, you might have to, to come out of the cold in the past or this week. You might have to go to the Hierophant. That could be the police station or... Something you might have to go make a statement or report something. Something. Yeah, the tower. Yeah. Yep, there go that tower. 
Or thank you. You could have war warned someone about a tower or something like that. Yeah. So, there's going to be an ending here. And then the world is here. Something ending. Something is over. Something is over this week. So Earth Angels, what's over is you self-sabotaging yourself. You, you're you not doing something correctly. Or somebody trying to play you. That's over or something like that. I also heard Earth Angels, if you're dealing with a lover or somebody, in the past, you kept telling somebody, you're going to push me to my last nerve. You're going to push me and push me and then I'm going to leave or something. Earth Angels, you was telling somebody something. And this week, you're going to do what you got to do. But you didn't, it's not like you didn't warn this person. You told this person this was going to happen. Yep. So somebody called your bluff and they're going to be bored and discontent this week. Or something. <laughs> so it's an ending to Ten of Pentacles. So this could definitely be like joint bank accounts. This could be a marriage. This could be a business, family business, or yeah. Or somebody might get this. So this could be also information in Ten Pentacles. So, Earth Angels, in the past, you could have been five pentacles. You didn't have all the information that you needed. And then when this tower, after this tower hit, you're going to have the rest of the information that you needed. So, it's the end of the Ten of Pentacles or it's the beginning of this Ten of Pentacles this week. <coughs> or something. Yeah. yeah, it's the ending of like that Ten Pentacles, something going over the Ten Pentacles. Or some money or something, or a resource, or somebody was had a joint bank account with somebody. That's over. Well, it's like Earth Angels, you gave somebody access to like your passwords or something. That's over. It's like Earth Angels, you telling your karmic spouse, I don't care if we married or not. I don't have to share my passwords with you. And I'm not. Like something like that. Yeah. Or Earth Angels, if you tied up to a karmic... It's like Earth Angels, you kind of regret marrying this karmic a little bit. And Earth Angels, you and your karmic spouse might lose something. And you was telling your karmic spouse, so-and-so is not going to invite us or this is going to happen or we're going to lose this because of how you behave. And it's like Earth Angels, your karmic spouse going to be shocked because what you said was true. And you're going to say, I told you. And it's like Earth Angels. Ain't, ain't nobody mad but the devil. So it's like Earth Angels, you already made peace about something that you knew was going to happen. If y'all like married a karmic or something. And ain't nobody mad but this crazy karmic. Because they didn't see this coming, Earth Angels. They didn't see it coming. And you kept telling this person or something like that. And ain't nobody mad but the devil. Or something like that. This person going to be bored, discontent, and they pissed off or something. Yeah. But Earth Angels, if you tie, if you marry the karmic or something, you're going to be in this energy. And you might not, um, you might tell your karmic spouse, Earth Angels, that they got to stay home or they can't come with you or something. Something like that. It's like Earth Angels, you're going to be so high vibrational and your karmic spouse going to be so low and pissed off because they getting karma or something. Or Earth Angels, I don't know if your karmic spouse said, if I go down, you go down. And Earth Angels, you was like, uh-uh, that ain't going to happen like that. So Earth Angels, your karmic spouse, because y'all married, 
It's like this person was saying, if, if it happened to me, it's going to happen to you because we married or something. And Earth Angels, you say, yeah, that's dependent on the situation, but that's that's not that's not how that's gonna happen. Something. And Earth Angels, your karma spouse gonna be pissed off. They're gonna be upset. Cause something gonna happen the, the exactly the way you said it was gonna happen, or something like that. Yeah, Earth Angels, you aware that your karmic spouse ain't no good or something like that. And it's like you're going to be separated from this person and or their karma. They're going to bear their karma alone. And they could have been trying to make you think that you're going to get karma with them. And no. Something. But I'm going to end it. So, Earth Angels, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And um, Earth Angels, enjoy the weekend. Thanks.